When you get to the fourth jhana, you actually become an advanced meditator. Now, most people in the world are practicing a different kind of meditation than what I'm teaching you. And to get to the fourth jhana can take years, the way they practice. Uh, if you follow the directions the way I'm showing you, um, it can take seven or eight days. Well, when I was in Thailand, they said, you get to the fourth jhana, 15 years. That's how long you have to practice before you can do it. In, in Sri Lanka, 10 years. Practice what the Buddha is showing us here, a week, sometimes faster. It's because they're practicing a different kind of meditation. They're practicing one-pointed concentration. What is one-pointed concentration? Your mind is on your object of meditation and it gets distracted. The instructions are immediately let go of that distraction and come back to your object of meditation. The force of the concentration becomes so strong that it suppresses the hindrances, which you think is a good thing at the time. But when you lose that concentration and you go back out into your daily life, there's no personality development. The hindrances come in your daily life just like they always did. You get just as mad or madder when somebody says something or does something you don't like because you're not able to recognize how the process works because of the force of the concentration. Now, when you're practicing what the Buddha is teaching, your mind is on your object of meditation, same. Your mind gets distracted, same. You let go of the distraction, same. Now you relax that tension and tightness in your head and smile and come back to your object of meditation. Now what's the difference between the two? One of them brought craving back and one of them didn't. And when you don't bring the craving back to your object of meditation, your progress is very fast. That's just the way it works. 